from keeping from God's command. Yeah. Whatever it is will not allow you to walk in God's way. As we saw in our Sunday school lesson this morning. God has already preordained for all of us in the house. Mm -hmm. All of us who have been born of a woman. He's already preordained what you ought to be. And how you ought to serve him. So if you're trying to figure out how to serve God. If you're trying to figure out your relationship with God. Check your heart. So he's speaking to the men of Judah and Jerusalem. See, if I stop there, it will say, well, he's talking only to the men of Jerusalem. No, he's not. Read a little bit of Florida, he's talking about all of the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So he's speaking to the men as well as all of the inhabitants in Jerusalem. <clears throat> Cultivate your heart. Every one of us individually is responsible for the condition of our heart. Whatever, whatever, whatever state of mind you find yourself in and you try to push it off on someone else, so wrong with your heart. Because can no one control your mind but you? That's why it's a must that you keep God's command. Amen. 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 And Paul let us know that this mind must be renewed. Amen. 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 It is possible because the Holy Ghost is always present. Always. The Word is always present. <coughs> Our problem is hearing and do it. Hear it. And do it. So God is speaking to the men of Judah. Cultivate your heart. For you have a heart of thumb. Matthew and Luke deal with that where, where Jesus gave the parable of the seed being sown. The loose heart heart of thorn, the heart of stone, and the good heart. But here God said they have a stony heart. Those are the one that cares for the things of this life. Those are the one that cares for the riches of this life. And if you read Revelation, by the church of the Laodicea, yeah. you may receive it be clear. Yeah. But I don't want to dwell on that. I want to dwell on keeping his command. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the only way out. Yes. So this God said to us, he has taught us himself that it is not his desire that any should perish. But all should come to repentance. Put away your evil heart. Peter says in his epistle, lay it aside. You are responsible for the evil that you do. I'm glad, I can, I'm glad nobody can hold me responsible for their evil. Lord have mercy. Not even my children get wholly responsible for their evil. You know, children want to say today now, because of the way the parents were to you, to them, that's why they're in the situation they're in. Well, Satan just got a hold of them. Amen. <clears throat> and as we saw in our 
Sunday school lesson this morning, God has specific instruction for the wife, for the husband, and for the children. So the wife, the husband, the children is a must that you keep God's command. So God told the, 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 the men of Judah through the prophet Jeremiah, circumcise your sins. Now in English we will say, well I gotta do something. No, that says you are responsible. God is the one that wants to do it. God is the one that's made this covenant for you to be circumcised. But he didn't make it with you. He made it with Christ. So that's why he said to us, listen, hear my son Jesus. Hear him. And God is going to make sure that every individual here personally our relationship is not with each other it's with God. Y'all ought to say amen. I know you don't like that. Because see if you don't have a relationship with God you won't have one with me. Why? Because God requires it. That's what the first commandment is all about. Loving God. And when you have that love for God that he requires of you, then you can love him. You will have that love that's unconditional. Whereas the love of man is conditional. Thank God we know the difference. It costs for us to exercise the love of God. It costs for us to love one another as 